Well, over the last four weeks, Julie Dawn Cole has been investigating secrets to looking younger for longer without actually going under the knife. Yes, and today, in the last of the series, Julie herself goes to the cosmetic front line as she undergoes a non-invasive facelift. However, just to warn you, there are some operational procedures if you want to look at it like this. Over the last five weeks, I've seen women literally lose wrinkles, age spots and unwanted stomachs. I've learnt that needles and lasers can replace the nip and tuck. But are these less invasive options as effective as the traditional methods? I'm thrilled I've had it done and I would have a top up. It's changed my life. It really, really has. Well, after watching the others turn back the clock, I've decided to take the plunge myself. As I've just hit the big 5-0, I'm fearing those telltale signs of ageing on my face and neck. So I've opted to try the Fraxel laser, which is a non-surgical facelift and a bit of Botox to rid me of my wrinkles. I'm a little bit nervous about it. I'm not quite sure whether my face is going to fall off or whether I'm going to look as though I've been in the sun for a week. I'm hoping that I just look a little bit sort of fresher and tidier and that people will say, oh, you look well. I hate these two frown lines here. I hate these little lines that I'm starting to get here. Best of it, not too unhappy with. I am the age I am. I'm 50. Um, I've got the T-shirt. Dr. Nick Lowe is a respected dermatologist with over 30 years of experience, and he's going to be in charge of my treatment. He's planning on using the Fraxel laser to tighten the skin, Botox to wipe out the wrinkles, and fillers to plump out the lines around my mouth. Looking at your face, you've, you've got more sun damage on the right side than on the left side. And the reason for that is that you do a lot of driving. And the ultraviolet, long wave ultraviolet, that comes through window glass, which people don't realize, actually significantly can age the skin. You've got these early wrinkles around the eyelids and the lower eyes. The eyelid skin is very thin to start with. So even small amounts of sunlight damages the collagen. So the Fraxel will, will take tighten some of and rejuvenate some of that area. And it will also lighten some of the little mild dark circles that, uh, that, that many of us get. Combining it with the Botox to relax the muscles and to give a brow lift here and to reduce the crow's feet here and then a gentle filler here to lift gently this lower face will be uh, a perfect way of doing it with uh, while avoiding surgery. Dr. Lowe takes a before picture of me with a special computerized camera so that he can compare and analyze the improvement of sun damage and wrinkles once the treatment has been completed. I look like my grandmother and she's been dead a few years. <laughs> it's terrible. Before any lasering can take place, my face needs to be numb to avoid any discomfort. I've been covered in an anaesthetic cream and have to wait for an hour before it's fully effective. And it's fair to say I'm a little nervous. So what I'm going to be doing you'll f is to start treating with a Fraxel laser. So I'll do the face first and then we'll move down to the neck. Dr. Lowe goes over the skin on my face and neck several times, sending tunnels of laser into the skin which eliminates damaged areas. In between each laser treatment I'll be having, the body begins to produce healthier, tighter tissue and new fresh collagen. How does that feel? I can hardly feel anything. Great, okay. And your face is going a nice uniform pink colour, <laughs> which means that the laser's absorbing nicely. I can't really feel a thing, apart from when the laser gets close to the hairline where there's less anaesthetic. Here, it just feels as though I'm being scratched with a fingernail. That's great, Julie. We're finished. Well, I feel like I've been in the sun for about six hours. <laughs> and that's actually all you look like. <laughs> After the treatment, I can carry on as usual. However, it's been suggested that I put plenty of cream on to re-moisturize my skin and to protect my face from further sun damage. I'll have to wait for four weeks before I can return for my second laser and a further four weeks to have my final treatment and the Botox and fillers. After my initial treatment, I went back for my second session just four weeks later. Now I'm back for my third and final treatment and this time I'm going one step further. As well as having my final lasering session, I'm also having Botox injections to reduce the intense lines around my eyes, 
and fillers to plump up the impressions around my mouth. Just relax there now. So we're going to put some Botox in here. Good, that's great. I could only just feel it. Okay, Julie, so what I'm now going to do is to put in some gentle filler into these lines mm. and also a little bit here where you tend to pull this right side down. Yeah. Injectable fillers such as collagen or fat, like I'm getting today, help coerce the creases and smooth the lines around my face. With fillers, you'll be able to see the effects immediately. However, if you have more stubborn furrows, you may need a few more treatments. And by combining it with Botox, it may be more effective and last longer. Once all the injections are over, Dr. Lowe is just going to do the laser one more time. So all in all, the most expensive part of my treatment was the Fraxel at £1,000 per session, but it does last between three and five years. The work around my eyes costs from £275 and won't need to be topped up for another four to six months. And the fillers can last up to 18 months and costs start from £375. There are other fractionated lasers available that all vary in price, so always make sure you do your research first and use a registered practitioner. Well, I know I look as though I've got a really bad case of sunburn, but actually I don't feel too bad, just a little bit hot. Um, it's a little bit traumatic having all of that done and tacking your face, so I think I'll feel a whole lot better when I've got a bag of ice on my face. The doctor's happy with the results and has promised within a few days the swelling and redness will go down. And although I can see some immediate improvement, my new youthful features will take full effect in about eight weeks. Six weeks after my final treatment, I'm off to meet my agent, who I haven't seen since I began the process. I'm hoping for a good reaction. Look at you! I'm trying to look natural. Oh, yeah. You look very natural. <laughs> do I no, do, do it I? does look natural. You look... Oh, sorry, I can't... <laughs> sorry. I just want to look at it all. Does it hurt? It's, it's uncomfortable. It, it prickles. It's like lots and lots of little needles. So as, as the thing passes over you, it's like crackle, crackle, crackle. Yeah. But, but you'd have it done again? Yeah, I would. You would have it done again? Yeah, I would. And have you yeah. noticed but, a massive difference? Yeah, I think, you know, when I put my makeup yeah. on, it just looks... Smoother yeah. and you can see your skin, it's so bright, mm. it really does. It does look, mm. it I mean, you can't good. obviously tell that you've had something done, you just no, look really just well look rested. Look I think I've lost these little frown yeah. lines a bit yeah. here. Yeah. Well, my colleagues really do yeah. seem to notice a difference, and just to prove it has had benefits, here are the before and after pictures. So what's certain is there are treatments out there which can hold back those telltale signs of ageing without going under the knife. And they do seem to work. But would I have another treatment? Well, ask me in another 10 years. Mm. Oh, she was brave. Julie, you look fantastic. We'll, we'll keep in touch to see how it develops over the next few months. Well done, Julie. Very interesting series. Now, <clears throat> still to come today.